Hi, and welcome to today's Power Ya. Good to see you here again. Today I want to talk to you about talents. What are your talents? What kind of talents do you have? What kind of gifting do you have? Is it like singing, rapping, swimming, exercising, jogging, being in nature, uh, taking pictures, recording video, preaching, children ministry, youth ministry, worship ministry, business, uh, healthcare, like what kind of areas of the society do you feel called to and what's your giftings? What are your talents? What are you good at? So you can just try to figure out, okay, what are my talents? Okay, what are my talents and what do I like doing? And when you do like follow your talents and do what you, uh, the ability, the giftings that you have, you'll start to see that you live out of your heart of passion when you're serving God. So you can just like try to write down like some of your talents. What are they? Today's topic is riches. What are true riches? Okay, what does it mean to be rich? So you can have riches in different areas. It doesn't necessarily mean that your bank account is gonna be filled up. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be a millionaire or own houses and stuff. But true riches is about your heart, being rich in heart, being rich in joy, being rich in having friends, being rich in the relationship with God, being rich in having talent and giftings, being rich in being happy, being rich in having a good life. So you, you can just like find out, okay, what is true riches? Because the world is always looking after, okay, become rich, have money, and that's gonna like solve your problems. No, that's not where the joy comes from. Joy comes from God. The, the joy comes from having fellowship with other people, having friends, connection, fellowship. And so it's like defining what is true riches? What makes a person rich? Hebrews 11.1 1 says here, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Okay, so faith is the assurance of things hoped for, things that we haven't seen yet with our natural eyes, but we have faith in it. We're convinced that it's gonna happen. We're convinced that we have a hope for it. So I wanna just propose to you that walk in faith, have faith as your guidance in heart. And when you have faith, you will have hope. And that's what we are called, you know, we're called believers. We're wandering in faith. We're walking in hope. And that's where our strength comes from. Cause we can't, we can't see it through our natural eyes, but we can see it in the spiritual realm and we can see it in the supernatural realm. And we can also see it in our inner being. And when you can see it, you can have it. Cause Jesus says, everything you pray for in prayer, believe that you, you, you'll have it and you shall receive it. So, you know, walking by faith and, and just walking in faith.